Um, it doesn't change it. In some ways, um, it, it's quite good because if I think back to this time last year and this time two years ago, they were absolutely sweltering at this time of the year. So you coming out at this time, you'd already been drenched in sweat. So um, in, in some ways, it's uh, it's actually quite pleasant. Uh, the, it does change things though, because you need to, you can't have players standing around. You need to keep on the move. You need to get things done quickly, and uh, you need to get moving quickly. So um, th that's basically how it changes it, but the players enjoy training in these conditions, there's a zip about the field and obviously there's hopefully going to be more energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, the, the, the great thing, and it's a strange thing, but uh, we coaches keep talking about it, it's a great thing that we, we've had this run and we're winning games, uh, but we still don't feel that we're playing at our capacity just yet. I think what we have done really well, uh, particularly away from home, is, is a, a, we're looking much more solid than we did at um, you know, a similar time than last year, where we look um, defensively much better. I think as a team, we're working much more uh, in unity with one another. I think, uh, when I say we're working harder, we've always worked hard, but I think we're doing the, the hard work quicker and earlier. And and um, and that's starting you know, from our forward right through all the way back to our defense. No, it starts, at, it starts up front, that's exactly where defending starts, and I think um, you know we've, we've we've been trying to preach that message this year, and, and the players are bought into it, and the, the you know the ethic from our, our strikers then sets the standard for, for the rest of the team, and I think you know if you ask what's one difference between our team now and say at the same stage last year or, um, or the last two years is that we we don't look as vulnerable defensively as we have done. The, you know, the, it's like anything, there's an up and down side to it. We, we probably haven't looked as, as threatening uh, from an attacking sense as, as we have in previous years. But I think with the quality of players that we have in midfield and the quality of players that we have up front, we are eventually going to score goals and create chances. So uh, as long as we can keep solid, uh, um, we're in a fairly good spot. Yeah, I mean, picking the team this year has been a different headache than, than previous years, there's no doubt about that. We have, you know, arguably a, a squad of 18 outfield players, well, 20 players all up, who are used to playing in the league and who expect game time. And that that's as much of a challenge as, you know, when you're looking at your squad and trying to figure out if you've got a living good player. So um, it's just an opposite challenge, but it's just something that... Um, you know, a, a club of our size and, and our expectations, we have to build up, and um, and players then have to just you know accept the role and whether they're playing or whether they're on the bench or whatever, and and turn up for training every day and be ready to play. Going into two games in four days again, you know, it's about the health of the squad. It's about how you come out of Wednesday's game. It's about Wednesday's performance. Uh, so all those factors come into the selection for Saturday. But uh, at the moment, our only focus is, you know, what's our best team to win the game Wednesday? As soon as that game's over, then we'll start focusing on Saturday. Get your or team. Sunday, rather. <laughs> A little bit different, at the, um, perhaps. The, the, we defended a little bit deeper in the first half against North Carolina and tried to stop them. Uh, they're very potent up front, very quick up front, so we tried to stop them sort of getting in behind us and we tried to stop the game being stretched. So I think it, it's equally important that we do that uh, Wednesday night. But we also need to, we're playing at home, we've got a high calibre team, so we've got to be a little bit more aggressive in, in how we play the game.